Okay, to take the temperature of the rabbit, you should hold this way rather than like the dog. Uh. So the temperature is 39 degrees. You can see there. there. Temperature 39 degrees. Okay, then we check the. Well, I think our first thing we check the the bubble lips, see whether it's in flame or any discharge. This is the third day. This uh, third day of opened up a bit. See any any inflammation? No. Reddish? Any discharge? It's not so reddish now as before it came in. And then the stools are normal, there's no uh, diarrhea, the stools are well formed, okay. So, now we can see that uh, there was urine scalding on December the 3rd, which is uh, how many days ago? 27 days ago. So, the complaint was about 6 months of uh, smelly urine. So, the owner brought it here for, for, the, for the treatment now. The, the thing is that, uh, as you can see, that time the whole whole area was uh, inflamed due to urine burn, and so this condition is very com very common in rabbits with a urinary tract infection, and it's called urine scalding turnover, and so we treated it under anesthesia, and clear the give medication. Now you can see that the whole the hair is growing back, so owner is quite satisfied. But two days, two days. Uh, Ago he came back and and he complained about uh, something which I'll ask my intern to narrate now. I will hold the rabbit. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, you, you narrate. I, I hold you narrate. I hold this. Okay, narrate now. Two days ago. Okay. Two days ago, the owner came in mm. with the complaint that the rabbit has been urinating and drinking a lot. Mm. There's also a loss of weight and the urine is cloudy again. Okay. So, how many days been drinking and urinating a lot? Two days. Okay. So he decided to hospitalize it. So he decided to hospitalize it, and the clinical signs were that she was having fever again at thirty nine point five degrees mm -hmm. Celsius. We did a urine test for the rabbit, and the urine test showed that there is bacteria, calcium oxalate. There is a pH of nine, which is above the normal limits of seven point four to eight but the specific gravity of the urine is within the normal limit. There is nitrite and mm. protein as well as ketones in one the plus, urine. One plus, yeah. Mm. One plus means very, very small amount. Okay, some more? More traces. So, nitrite mm. is due to um, enzyme that is present during UTI mm. and that will cause urine nitrate to be converted to nitrite. Okay. The presence of protein shows that there is proteinuria Okay, and right. that could be caused by stress as well in rabbits since it's only a small trace found. I wouldn't say it's stress, it's most likely uh, cystitis and uh, the cells come out uh, from the bladder. Okay, then we look for the down, and there's bacteria, one there plus. Bacteria mm. as well as calcium oxalate. Ah, calcium oxalate is the main thing, that's why it causes turbid and so urine, turbid, turbidity. So it looks more cloudy. So now we're talking about your uh, urinary stones. Now what happened in uh, the first visit, 27 days ago, the x-ray shows... The x-ray showed what? that there's no urine stones no urinary during the stone. first visit on mm. 3rd of December. Mm, okay. So, and no urine test was done at that time because of urine scalding. We couldn't collect urine as well. So now, this is a recurrence. Huh? So is it a urinary tract infection then? I ask you. Oh, it's a urinary tract infection because of the presence of bacteria and like and calcium oxalate is present as well in the urine. Mm. So what about was, the pH? The pH is also high which is 9 and the normal limit is 7.4 to 8. According to the Murdoch University, right? Yeah. Okay, then so what's the significance of a high alkaline urine? Uh, a high alkaline urine environment will allow bacteria grow mm. which will ultimately lead to the urinary tract infection. Mm, okay. Then how about the calcium oxalate? So the calcium Crystals. oxalate, because of the alkaline urine, it also allows the deposit of calcium oxalate in the urine. Mm, okay. And as calcium oxalate accumulates, it can lead to bladder stones as well. Okay, so... So, so what's the treatment the, plan uh, treatment, yeah, was okay. that we have given a Betril, which is enrofloxacin antibiotic mm. injection for the rabbit. Mm and it's going to be on antibiotics as well per oral. 
How's the urine color? The urine color today is Should not turbid be, anymore. Uh, not turbid, yeah. it, but it's still slightly yellowish. Mm, okay. Then what's the advice to the owner? Do you advise cranberry? The advice tablets? to the owner is that the owner can try a cranberry tablet supplementation by dissolving the cranberry tablet into water and syringe feed it to the rabbit at 50 mg per kg dosage. But I won't advise it now because it, the, the test sample is too, too small. Or vitamin C can be used to also prevent further calcium oxalate deposit. Are you sure? Okay, so so I think that the, the main thing for this rabbit is make sure, like you said yesterday, plenty of water to drink, which he didn't drink, right? No, I mean, Should so that they can pass. To dilute the urine. Uh, they can pass urine more frequently. Then, uh, secondly, I suspect um, maybe the, the, the cage is not uh, clean enough, so he didn't go to pee. We don't know. We don't know what is the the little system, I mean the little box, how does it pee? So then I could look into it. Okay. Uh, it because if the, the rabbit is very clean, then it wouldn't go to to those uh, soil little boxes or area. Uh, so the part is to look into it, the housing, or what you call it, manage husbandry. husbandry. Uh. Then the feeding? Feeding, um, it is advised that the owner should avoid hey. alfalfa based mm. pellets and alfalfa hay because they are very high in digestible calcium mm. and it will increase the risk of calcium oxalate deposits in the urine. So how much you could what, what? So it is recommended that the owner should feed Feel what? um ninety percent Timothy or Oaten hay, ten mm. percent of pellets mm. and additional daily vegetables and fruits to the diet. Vegetables and fruits may contain yeah. water, yeah. And vegetables and fruits contain a high amount of water which will help dilute the urine and prevent urinary tract infection. I think it's better than cream barrier. Yeah. Huh? Because we don't know what's the effect on the pH. Any more advice? Hmm? I think the other advice is to weigh the rabbit weekly because uh, it's been losing weight. And uh, also to check the teeth, check the teeth. Is there any overgrown teeth? Hmm. Is it overgrown? Molars? Wait, uh, wait. Uh, uh, you go like that, uh, okay. So you just open up like this. The main point is uh, you put down the lower lip. Is it overgrown? No. Let's see. No, no okay, overgrown. I hope. It's pretty good appetite actually, his tooth are quite a lot. Not overgrown? No. Put down a bit more. The lower jaw, no, it's not overgrown. Huh? And no drooling, so it should be okay. As far as the there's no more occlusion of the of the teeth, so they shouldn't be losing weight. So the only possibility of him losing weight is the the stress from urine tract infection and also the urine scalding. But he's still losing weight, so that is the the thing that we're not going to look into it. Any more other advice? No more. Okay.